Hello guys. Right, today I'm going to be changing the differential oil on the Land Rover Discovery 3. We're going to start by doing the front diff and then the rear diff. Right, so we've got the vehicle up in the air, removed the sump guard, which is held in here, here and across with 13mm uh, bolts. So we can now see that there's the engine sump. And if we come over to the near side, you can just about see up here where my hand's going. That's where the diff level plug is. So I'm gonna just put you up the top and you should be able to see. So just here, that is the eight mil level plug. Let's get another light up in there. So you can just see that, so I'm just gonna pan out. So it literally sits right next to where this drive shaft goes in. So here is the drive shaft. It's to the right of that, and it's the eight mil Allen key. So that's your fill up. Top of the breaker bar. Okay, get into a ratchet. So we're just gonna make sure we can get that level plug out. So that is an eight mil Allen key bit you need for this. And that is our level plug there. So that's fine. We know we got that out so we can now go ahead and drain the front diff. Looking at the other side of the diff. Okay, so this is now facing the off side. So the uh, right hand side of the vehicle is your drain. Before you even attempt to undo the drain plug, always make sure you can undo the level plug. Because if you can't undo that level plug and you go ahead and drain it, you're in big trouble. So always, always make sure you can get the level plug out and undone before removing this one, okay? Right, so on the uh, drain here, this is a 14 mil. So we're just gonna try and crack that off. There we go. Now make sure you've got yourself a drain bucket of some sort to catch this in. That doesn't actually look that bad, that oil. On the end here, this is a magnet. So any swore filings at all which are coming from a worn diff should be magnetized to this you can see there so always go over that with a rag give that a clean okay so that's now all drained out we can put our plug back in you can see it's cleaned off the magnet there so that's fine to go back in again make sure you can get it in by hand screw it don't force it in that in place. Get our 14 mil Allen key. This doesn't have to be too tight, okay? So just, just nip it. So that there's fine. Let me wipe that off. A little bit of brake cleaner. Now we can fill it. We're gonna get some 7590 gear oil to go in. If you don't have one of these, you can always use the uh, bottle. This is just gonna make life a hell of a lot easier to get the oil in. Okay, so we just slid that in the filler hole, and push the syringe, push that oil in. Again, we've still got a drain bucket underneath, just in case we get any spillage. Okay, so that's half a litre. Now to get some more. In with our second one. And there we go. That's running out. That's fine there.
fill that level plug up put the level plug all the way in now we're just gonna do that up Now again, it doesn't have to be too tight, you just want to nip it up. We'll clean that off with some brake cleaner. Give that a wipe. Lovely. Right, so we're at the rear diff now, okay? And here is the filler, and our drain is just below that. So the filler on the rear one is towards the back of the vehicle. So you've got the dry shaft coming in on the offside rear, and just below to the bottom of that is where the filler is. So again, we want to make sure we can uh, get that undone before we do the drain. Just going to try breaking that off. There we go. Swap over to a ratchet. Undo. Just gonna see if I can do that by hand. Yep, so we've got a drain bucket underneath. Something like. Don't use the wise washing up uh, bowl. Alright, so yeah, our filler is out. So that's good. Put that somewhere safe. And we will now undo the drain. So we're going to undo the uh, drain plug now. This is a 14 mil. bucket underneath here we go Pop the bung back in now. Do that up. So obviously clockwise for doing up. Not too tight, but tight enough. You'd be able to find the torque settings online anyway. Wipe for the brake cleaner again. So we get that one filled up and uh, make sure we've got no leaks. So we're going to pop our royal in again. These syringes are really handy cheap to buy so if you've got one or want to buy one I would recommend one but as I said earlier you can get away with not having one of these this is another tube that you could use for filling it okay so it's your squeezy box that you buy it with give it a squeeze and uh, come out of the nozzle there Our oil levels all up now on the back. Pop our 
fill the plug back in. Three turns. tight there we go finally same as we did on the front we're just going to wash that off super now what you can do is spray some white grease just pop some grease on these bungs just to stop any corrosion just to make it easier again for future uh, changing these oils okie dokie